I mean no ill intent with this video. And I've said it before, death in all cases is sad. And when X was wild and getting into fights and getting knocked out of his own shows, I'm not gonna act like I wasn't one of the many people laughing too. And I've had my criticisms, but I try not to say too much on these new artists because I'm 23 and most of them are younger than me. It's kinda like J. Cole said, you gotta give a boy a chance to grow some. With him, I definitely had to split the art from the artist. And I don't push my beliefs on anyone, but if you're my friend, you say things like, I am a murderer, I am a demon, the son of a serpent, or I spoke to the devil in Miami and he said everything would be fine. I would tell you personally, I wouldn't play with God like that. But if you are a God-fearing person and you celebrate this young man's death or you're spreading that video of his lifeless body around the internet, I just want you to know you're a hypocrite and you wrong. You should never wish death on anyone. And that's coming from somebody who's been dealing with bullies most of his life. And I'm not ignoring his past. I just think he died before he got a chance to really turn himself around. He was only 20 and our generation watched Chris Brown make his first major fuck up at 19. I mean, he's been up and down since then, but if he died then after that whole Rihanna situation, that's all people would try to remember him for. And I know X faked his death before, which is why I waited to say anything. Sadly, this time that ain't the case. Not a joke. He was killed, gunned down at age 20. I hope they put away everyone involved and may he rest in peace. But while we're on the topic, let's talk about the music culture in general. Cause Jimmy Waffle got gunned down the same day. But when I heard the words X and shooting, my mind immediately went back to this video from about a year ago. Stop, stop, no. stop it. I'm not Do not about that. explain it. No, I gotta explain Do it. not rationalize this I'm not, behavior. I'm not rationalize his behavior, but I'm- Hey, when that little fuckity fuck nigga behaves that way, you move. I'm telling you that because I care about you. If you're not with the shits like that, which clearly you're not, you're not, he's not, then shut your little ass the fuck up. Stay your little ass away from his little ass. Keep away from his little ass. They gonna hurt him. Fuckity fuck niggas who every time his name come up, I give him good advice, he ignores it. Well, hold on, He got hold on, hold on. some issues and he don't value his own fucking life. He done got punched on a stage. He is fighting for his life in court. Okay. You are beating fans up. And yes, Joe just went on Lawrence Fishburne and Boys in the Hood on academics, but he had a point. A lot of artists these days are surrounded by yes men. Your friends or your spouse should be people who are willing to snatch the phone out of your hand when they know you're acting up. See how many people from Kanye's outer circle tried to reach out to him when he started that whole Twitter rant? This new thing of posting people's girlfriends, aiming guns at the camera, this game of tag 6 9 keeps playing with Chief Keef. This stuff is just gonna get y'all hurt. So to people my age and below, please be careful of the company you keep in the seeds you sow. Because even if you try to turn your life around, you never know when one of your past demons or someone you hurt in the past might be ready to strike. Y'all be safe and be blessed.